Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a um, hamster house, a big one, for whenever your hamster is um, out of its cage. Okay, I'm just going to use a corner of this bed, sorry, to make it. And what I have, so I have a shoebox, some tape, and some scissors. Let's get started. Okay. Oops. Sorry, I don't have good camera resolution or whatever. Okay, you're gonna take the lid off of your shoebox. And you're just gonna wanna poke a hole in it. bit more difficult so you might want a sharpened pencil to poke your first hole like that and then you're just gonna take your scissors and take the sharpest point of your scissors and take it through there and then cut a big enough hole so that your hamster can go in and out of it. We'd like to know a little bit about you for fun. So about that big, however big your hamster is. And you're going to want to take your pencil again. And you're going to want to repeat this pattern for a while until you have multiple holes all in your shoe box. Preferably away from each other so that your hamster will have a better time discovering. You can make as many holes as you want. In your box. But right now I'm only going to do about four. I'm just going to poke them over here. And then with this project, this is a, once again, this is a um, hamster hideout slash maze. Um, I've noticed a lot of people make their mazes from Legos. Um, I don't make mine out of Legos, though, because... I don't have Legos, so I'm going to make one more hole right here, and this is a really simple project. You don't even have to have the tape. So now I have four holes in my shoe box, and that's as many as I'm going to do right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just leave the shoe box like this, and then tear the... If your shoe box has one of these on it, then just tear that off, or cut it off. Sometimes they're a little bit harder to tear off. Now, you're just going to take your shoe box and place the lid on it. Or you, you can just do it like that. Or you can put some bedding in here, which is what I'm about to do. And he likes the newspaper bedding. I'm just going to put a little bit of that in there and then a little bit of Care Fresh in there. Just about that much. And then if you have an extra food bowl, then you can put that in there as well. And then take a little bit of the food 
and his food bowl are from wherever. Put it in there. You don't have to take very much. Just about that much is fun. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. And now, you're just going to want to add your furry friend. If I can get mine. Okay. You may want to let him smell it first so that he'll get a little bit more used to it before, you know, you start just sticking him in there. But he's had one of these before. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick him up. Here, I'll let you guys see too. Okay, so here he is. And hamsters like dark places too. So it's a nice little touch for a hamster. And let's see what he does. I think he's by his food. Yep, he's right there. And there's his nose. Sticking out of the hole. It's right there. And there are some light spots in here where there's no darkness, but hamsters really do like this. So, um, I recommend it for hamsters, especially young ones who like to, um, be adventurous. And if they like to just be out in the open, they can just crawl on it and then go back in if they want. I really like this and I'm glad I could show you guys how to make it. So bye guys.